Hey everyone, it's Netta and Mongo here with K-Pop Oracles and we got Mochi chirping in the background. We're bringing you another K-Pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be about Yeri's personality. Yeah, so yeah, so we're just going to go ahead, go ahead and get started. Let's see what is her personality like. What is she like? What is Yeri's personality like? We have the Five of Cups. Oh! Hmm, she may be going through a rough patch right now. I mean, this is a pretty sad card. I mean, the Five of Cups basically means kind of sadness, depression, just difficult times. So she may be going through, maybe she's feeling a little down right now, feeling like a little lack of support. We had the Nine of Pentacles, okay, but she is this independent person, very free-spirited. I also feel like she's someone who's got, a, like, you know, stable finances, maybe stable, um, a sense of stability, okay, in, like, her career. Oh, so, but something's causing her a little upset right now for some reason. Um, so, for the most, okay, so it seems like right, right now she's doing well financially, and maybe also career-wise. I also feel like she's... Yeah, someone who is very independent or likes to kind of do her own thing. Um, you know, like doesn't like to be tied down. What is Yuri like? We have the Two of Cups. Okay, I think she's someone that craves like deep meaningful connections, something that's very nurturing, something that is yeah, very caring. I feel like she's like a romantic as well, like maybe she just dreams of finding the one someday. We have the King of Wands. She can be someone like really charismatic, someone who is very creative as well, someone who not afraid to kind of be in the spotlight, not afraid to kind of stand out or um, yeah, be in front of like a bunch of people. So she is, she seems like a, like very artistic, very like, so it seems like she has other talents other than like music. So it could be like maybe drawing, maybe acting. Oh, uh, yeah, so acting. So she ha she's like a kind of had like a natural talent for these things. And we have the three of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, which is a sign that she she's like a team player. Like she works well with others. Like she's very like she's someone that you is very likable, like easy to like you would get along with her and or it's just great to work with. Like she's not like a big troublemaker or anything. We have Mercury, Mercury. Okay, I think she's just someone who likes to likes to chit chat, you know, like talk to people. Like maybe she's the type of person like kind of like go up to like you know strangers or someone she doesn't know and like kind of make small talk. So she is someone who's a great communicator, someone who's very um, very intelligent, very very analytical too. I also feel like she's very expressive. So she, the way she talks, maybe she talks with her hands a lot. So she's very you know, like in Italian, like very, like they used their hands a lot. <laughs> and I also feel like she, um, maybe she, she's like maybe into like learning like different languages as well, or just wants to be someone who knows a lot of languages. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, yes. Another indication that she's very independent. Sagittarians are known to be, yeah, very free spirited, independent, like don't want to be tied down. Like they run wild, they run free. So she's like the Sagittarius. It's very like, she seems like a very happy go lucky person, like really optimistic. Not, um, but there may be okay. The five of cups that popped up though, something's kind of weighing her down for some reason. But 
she tries to kind of keep a have a positive outlook on things and I also feel like she's someone that is blessed with a lot of great fortune in her life or just like or money follow, wealth follows her wherever she goes and so she she's someone who is it's gonna like have a really successful career or you know um to the, sh to the day she dies I feel and also she's someone that a lot of people will like are inspired by or really look up to so she can be really inspiring or and also I think she's someone that gives great advice too so she's someone that she maybe I feel like maybe she's like really young but she's very wise like she gives like um, she offers a lot of wisdom We have Hannah, Hannah. So she who listens. So she's. I, I feel like she's very empathetic. Like she's always there for a lot of people. So she can be. She's almost like a like, like low key like a therapist. You know, really is there for people. Really listens with a caring ear. I also feel like she is very just a very kind hearted person in general. Like very likable. Um, someone who cares deeply about others or loved ones. We have peanut butter dragon. Peanut butter dragon, yes. Yeah. So I feel like she's someone who can be like a social butterfly. So I feel like she has a lot of friends or a lot of homies and like, or just people just want to be friends with her. Okay, let's see, what are her strengths? What are, what are Yuri's strengths? What are Yuri's strengths? We have the eight of coins or eight of pentacles. So one of her strengths is 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 that she's a very, very hardworking individual individual. Like she doesn't half ass things, like she puts in her heart, her soul into a lot of her projects or her work. Like she's um yeah, very ambitious, very hardworking. What are your strengths? Seven of coins, seven of coins or seven of pentacles. Yeah, so she, again, another indication that she, she puts in the work, she put, like she's not lazy, like she's very motivated, like she's, she has a lot of drive. We have the king of swords, king of swords. So she's, again like very independent like she's not the type that will like cling on to you or just like not the type that like has no boundaries or hovers over people like she understands pe when people need space like she's not the type that would kind of try like like really be all up in your business or anything like she she's very understanding of people's needs and I also feel like she yeah so she's very independent she's very intelligent she's she can be witty too like I feel like also she's someone who can be really honest like really brutally honest like and gives great constructive criticism or feedback to other people like she's yeah she's just someone who just has a lot of like a lot of wisdom okay like i feel like she has a lot to to share with others what else what are your restraints Peregrine falcon? Peregrine falcon? Okay, some sort of falcon here. Okay, this birdie here. So she she's someone that like is not afraid to kind of take more risk or step out of her comfort comfort zone. Like she's not afraid to kind of hop on any opportunity that comes her way. Like she's she's a very she's a go getter. Like she she's a hustler, like she she works her butt off, like she's open always open to new things. Open new, yeah, new things, new experiences.
Oh, pff, no, too many cards. Four, four, four. I am protecting. Uh, I am protected. Yeah, so I feel like there's a lot of people who support her or just really have her back. Or it could be the other way around. Like she has other people's backs. She, so she may be seen as like a like really protective figure in a lot of people's lives. Like she is someone who like, I guess will support you to the end. Okay, let's see what are her weaknesses. What are Yuri's weaknesses? What are Yuri's weaknesses? Hey Mango. What are Yuri's weaknesses? Do you have to go poop poof somewhere? Okay, we have the Hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse. So there are times when she can be has a tendency to kind of really isolate herself or just like really go out and do her own thing and not like doesn't want anyone to bother her or follow her. So she can be extremely, I guess, I guess being too, too independent can be a bad thing at times. Or sometimes like when she's not feeling so great, she like tends to isolate herself. What are Yuri's weaknesses? Six of Cups. Six of Cups is all about the past. Maybe she has a tendency to kind of think a lot about the past. A lot, maybe. Or, yeah, so it may be hard for her to kind of let go of some some things from her past, like people or situations. What are your use weaknesses? Okay, yeah, three of coins in reverse. Three of coins or three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so there's a tendency for her to kind of really want to do her own thing at times. Maybe sometimes like she doesn't want to like, like there's some moments where she doesn't want to like want to work with others um, or just, she has her moments, yeah. So, but you know, it's not like all doom and gloom here. So, I mean, these are very easily fixable issues. Okay, what else? What are Yeri's weaknesses? Surrender low self-esteem. Surrender low self-esteem. That's esteem. <laughs> you guys are loud. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so maybe she... I feel like maybe at times she can be her own worst enemy. Like maybe beats herself up over... Like at times or maybe feeling... Yeah, so she can be her yeah her own worst enemy. Like she, I feel like she she can be really critical of herself. Like I feel like maybe like she's low key almost like a perfectionist. Surrender to creativity. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I feel like she's someone who is, yeah, very creative, okay, has a lot of artistic capabilities, but maybe sometimes she kind of hides it from people for some reason, okay, or just, like, like she's someone who's very imaginative or just has so much talent for, for, or has a lot of creative ideas, maybe she kind of holds back a little bit or kind of hides it from people for some, at times. Okay, let's see. What are... I guess what's important to Yuri? What is important to Yuri? What are some important things? What are some things that she finds important? What's important to Yuri? We have the King of Cups. It's important for her to kind of have... <laughs> so it's it's important to her, I guess, maybe to feel loved, maybe feel supported, okay, from people or just, yeah, just having people who are there for her and also kind of vice versa. What 
What's important to Yuri? Six of Cups. Okay, the this card popping out again. So something about the past is really important to her. It could be a, an old childhood friend or just a memory of some sort or just people. Yeah, people or places. Something. Something from the past is important to her. What's important to Yuri? We have judgment. Judgment. Yes, I guess the feeling of rejuvenation, um, being, being able to kind of like, kind of rise, rise again, you know, or shine again. What else? Use your hands. Yes, okay. So, hmm, maybe she's, okay, maybe she's into some sort of like craft work. Okay, like this person here who's like, oh, I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's like sewing something. So, can mean, okay, something that involves her hands. So it can be making something, making art, making sculptures, knitting, uh, yeah, sculpting, artwork, something. <laughs> something that involves hands. Okay, one last card. What's important to Yuri? Please release self-doubt, let go of fear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, release self-doubt and let go of fear. Okay, kind of pretty much self-explanatory. Okay. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporgles1 and Tumblr, kpoporgles.tumblr.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.